Today I'm going to be replacing the boot drive on my brand new New Green NASSYNC DXP4800 Plus. You might wonder why I'm replacing the boot drive after all these just hit the market. I want to run true NAS scale, but I want to preserve the U Green OS in case I ever want to go back to it or sell the unit. With that said, let's take it to bits. So the first thing we want to do is take the drives out of it first. Then you'll pop pop these little rubber feet out of here. And I'm gonna take these four screws out. I think I'm gonna go full hillbilly right off the bat. If you look down in here, there's a little channel right there in the, all the way in the corner, right in there. I'm going to use this piece of dowel, I'm not using anything metal, and pop the case off of the front of it. Next is the fan. And right below here is a little four pin fan connector. out of the way. I'm going to want to remove these four screws. Uno. Dos. I forgot something. We got to push down on this little spring thing to let the housing out. So, push that spring down, down here. Oh, there we go. Placing it with this. Now I am concerned that that doesn't have a thermal pad on it. I might put a thin one on there of my own. I got a matching pair of these Western Digital OEM Gamer Western Digital SN740 NVMe 
256 GB. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a thermal pad on this and try to make it match that. And if I got to, I'll squeeze it down to get it in. And this one already has one of these thermal pads installed. And I'll put the other one on after I get the case on. So let me go see what I got for pads. Just so happens I keep an assortment of thermal pads. An assortment of... I keep an assortment of thermal pads. Jeez, I can't talk today. Yeah, this is the thickest one I got, and I think that's the one I want. So. I'm surprised that the stock boot drive didn't have any kind of anything on it. That'll do, donkey. Now, I may try to leave that plastic on until the edge of the housing slides over it. You guys with me on this? Alright. Not surprisingly light without the housing in the hard drives. Alright. So there are a slot on either side of the housing for the motherboard or these little locator pins right here to go in. Push that little fella in. And there's another ridge in there that he has to bypass. And I had an idea for that. hoping that would make contact but I don't think it's going to okay there's our little pin Screws back in. Like nothing ever happened. And now, for the fan. I will certainly be replacing this fan maybe tomorrow I think Amazon has that one for overnight and I'm going to 
experiment with that thing blowing and sucking. So now we're going to put the bezel back on. All right. That appears to be all good. these things down too hard because I'm going to be taking it right back off to put my fan on Ooh, there it went you know what I ought to tighten it down because I don't want the damn thing to rattle between now and then Put the plugs back in. The holes go down. There appears to be an animal stuck under my house. All right. Thickest thermal pads I've ever seen. Anyway, that's it. We're all done. I got these U12 terabyte Western Digital Drives. 